Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the video about um, how to get a 9.0 in the Tamiya. We're very, very lucky today to be joined by Yi Hang, who scored a 9.0, which uh, I don't know how to quantify how ridiculous this is. He basically got full marks in the Tamiya. Um, it's just insane. Uh, to provide some context, I'm going to Cambridge to study economics in October, and I already got a 5.4, and I was actually quite happy with that score. Like, a good score is around a 5.0 or 6.0, so to get a 9.0 is just utterly ridiculous. Anyways, very rare opportunity here because we spoke on LinkedIn and thankfully he was up for recording a video. So we've got all the tea now, we've got um, all the advice and information on how to smash him. Anyways, without further ado, would you like to introduce yourself, Yi Hang, and we can get started. Amazing, yeah. Um, I won't bore you guys with the logistics because I'm sure you know how the Tamil works. Uh, so I think we'll jump straight into it. Just one thing before that, Yi Hang did indeed get 5A stars in his A-levels. So take um, this advice with a pinch of salt, he's a very smart bloke. Um, but of course, I hope this advice is very applicable. A lot of you sitting the Tamiya will also have very good um, A-level grades. So I guess to begin with, um, how did you roughly approach the Tamiya? Did you have any general thoughts about starting your preparation? When did you start and how did you approach starting? Did a mock under the time constraints. Yeah. So yeah, I found it's quite difficult to finish, even yeah. finish. I mean, 40 questions are like quite heavy. And yeah, so I officially started my preparation uh, in the summer of okay. uh, UCAS submit uh, application. So okay. it was my, my one year ago in the summer of 2024. So summer of 2024, so, and then you sat the exam in like October of 2024. Yeah, October. Nice, nice, makes sense. Any month in yeah. summer or just like... Oh yeah. Uh, actually, it's June, June because yeah. at the time when I like I left the school and I finished my uh, A levels yeah. and AS levels for some subjects. So suddenly, like everything I need to do is pre prepare for personal statement, prepare yeah. for uh, potential interview, or like. And then it's like TMUA, yeah. and because TMUA is like uh, an admission test, and it has some sort of like uh, certainty because yeah. if you prepare. Uh, hard and you like uh, invest some time and effort then the result is quite clear that's the reason why i prepared quite early mm. and my strategy was like i tried to save the like other real paper past paper yeah. in the end okay and i, I j just used resources like mat or ukmt or AMC, so AMC is American Math Challenge. Okay. So those exams have like all, all of them are like um, four multiple choice questions. Yeah. And it's very similar to the style of TMUA, which is basically like basic content but cheeky logic. Yeah, yeah, cheeky logic. So yeah, yeah very cheeky. So <laughs> yeah, I just try to do like one past paper, like so for MAT. I think it was like 10 questions for okay. each paper. Yeah. For, for each, for the like 10 day. multiple choice questions for yeah. each paper. I didn't look at those other questions. Like, uh, yeah, I only look at multiple choices. Okay. So like I, I did like 10 past paper uh, per day. And then the Sorry, next day- Sorry, 10 I past tried... papers per day? No, one. Oh, okay. Sorry. So 10 um, questions a day. Yeah, one past paper <laughs> per day. And then, then, so, so in the first day, I, I spent some time to solve that, that 10 uh, questions and I didn't really time myself. Okay, yeah. And no then in the next so. day, I tried to uh, see like wh which question I did wrong or yeah. I was like a bit unsure. And I tried to solve them and to un really understand the process as much as I can. Yeah. Because I think if you know the answer, and you try to understand the process, uh, it's like a reverse engineering. Yeah. yeah. So it, it becomes like easier mm. to easier to compare with like solve solve it. But it really helps you to solve similar questions in the future. Yeah. So I spend some time to uh, review those questions, yeah. and then I will redo them. <laughs> Although I know the answer, but I just want to make sure that I know the full logic. That makes sense, yeah. And every step very clearly. That makes sense. Did you start and, with MAT? Yeah. Was that the first set of papers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, and MAT is actually a very good resource because it's like a, like an exam with very long history, so you yeah. can find loads past papers past from... Pages. Yeah, 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 loads of, loads of them, like 30 or 35 years of MAT. Very nice. And yeah. Although the difficulties of MAT is similar to TMUA, it's like it keeps increasing. Yeah, but yeah, you can start with the oldest 
and then try to try to check the reason. Nice. Right, so start with the old SAT uh, papers and then come out to the new. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it, you have a lear learning curve. Yeah. Other resources like uh, I think for all the like uh, STEM subjects, yeah. admission tests for Oxbridge, like ENGAA and yeah. and uh, and. NSAA, NSAA yeah. for nature science, I think. Yeah, all of them have some uh, mathematical c content, yeah. and those are like all the resources you can use if you want to prepare TMUA, and you find that for TMUA, you only have six past paper. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, my advice is save those six past paper in the end. Yeah. And, yeah, and try to prepare with other papers that makes and sense. for law uh, for TMA, one special thing i think is like the part two right it's yeah, just, the there logic. are some like logical questions so difficult the, are so bad at them yeah and they are, they are not covered for other exams yeah as, i think for mat those exams so yeah for that part I, like i think for everyone like Initially, we don't really understand those terminologies. Yeah. And even we understand, it takes some time to really solve the problem correctly. Definitely, yeah. So, yeah, my, 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 I think some YouTube videos are like really useful. You just search for like logical, uh, lo logical, what's the word? Like lo lo logic. Logical yeah, you just search for logic yeah, yeah. and or like logic for TMUA, logic for math. Yeah. You can find out those. Uh, how how those terminologies uh, work, and they actually have signs uh, like uh, oh yeah the uh, arrows and you can yeah yeah yeah, yeah. those okay. arrows so I think for TMUA it's not required but if you learn how to use those arrows mm -hmm. you can think more uh, logically I yeah. mean you don't really need to understand it in nature language instead you use like those uh, formulas or signs yeah. so I, I guess. It will be better. That's good. Yeah, that'd be very useful. Yeah, and if you are like apply for economics, you can also look at uh, TSA, I think. Yeah. So okay. it's like Oxford's admission test for those humanities subjects, but for TSA, they have some logical questions. Although they are not mathematical, they are not for math, yeah. but the like logic is like similar that's good yeah i think probably yeah. the problem solving problem solving quite like the math the ones that have a little bit of maths is probably those ones but mostly logic for tsa yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that makes sense and um i was gonna ask so with the additional cambridge tests so like the enga or the nsaa did you do all of yeah. the maths part of those papers well um, actually i looked at those parts and to see like which questions is a bit similar to the tmu style and I will just try to solve them. Nice. And if I find out they are like uh, completely different or like I don't, or I already understand this part very well, then it's not like worth to take time to solve every question. Of course. That makes sense. Yeah, great. Uh, the next question I wanted to ask is with regard to the UKMT. So with UKMT, there's quite a lot of different paper types. So there's like UKMT senior, intermediate, etc. There's kangaroo. Um, were there any ones in particular which you found most useful? So which UKMT papers were most useful? I think it's definitely not like you like the senior one. I think yeah, yeah. TMA is not that difficult. It's probably like in the intermediate level. So okay. for TMA, I think the thing is you only need like AS level uh, knowledge. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, this reminds me like yeah. another might be useful resources <laughs> like. If you know, like, there are some uh, IQ tests online. Yeah. And I find TMUA sometimes pretty similar to that. Really? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like require, require your attention to detail and some kind of abstract right. logic, logical thinking. Yeah. But you don't really need to, uh, like, the thought process is not that long. Yeah. I mean, you, it, it's basically like, Every question in TMA can be solved in three steps. Yeah, interesting. I, I don't know. Do, do you agree with that? I th yeah, three I agree steps. with that because you just need to know the trick. As long as you know one trick, it just yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so three steps in maximum. Yeah. So, so they're that, pretty, yeah. like, I, I, I don't know, mm, but they, they are not like very complex in reasoning. Yeah, yeah. But very complex in like logic. Yeah, that makes and sense. And sometimes you need to jump from one. Uh, like one dimension to the other. Yeah. So IQ test, do you think it would be helpful with that? Mm, 
I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe you can just do it for fun. That's fair. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you came to you said intermediate, which might be quite useful. Um, AMC. That's the next one. So which AMC papers did you find most useful? Oh yeah, for for AMC, uh, it's yeah AMC. Uh, yeah, yeah, AMC is categorized by age, right? Yeah. So yeah, for AMC, definitely AMC twelve. Twelve, okay. But AMC for AMC twelve, then uh, you don't need to solve the most complex problems in AMC twelve, but uh, like basically the first fifteen questions. First fifteen questions, okay. So the first fifteen yeah, questions yeah. for AMC twelve, amazing, nice. So yeah. just to recap, we've gone through the MAT, we've gone through Tamura, we've gone through Logic, NSAA, Anger. Um, we touched a bit on UKMT, we've done AMC. Do you think there's any other useful resources which might be helpful? Yeah, I, I think actually for me, I checked basically every mock paper I can find on, online. And yeah. I, I even spent some time, some money uh, like to purchase some mock paper. And yeah, uh, I think for some mock paper online, like although they are, they, they are copyright, but I, I don't really think they are like that original. Yeah. So, yeah, I think some teachers just collect questions from like five questions from UKMT, five questions from uh, AMC. Yeah, just five organizing questions those questions and, and charging money for yeah, it. Yeah, and then it's a new, new mock paper. Yeah. But but anyway, uh, f find as much mock paper as you can. Yeah. And in the, the last one month or like two weeks, try to time yourself. Mm -hmm. Because like for uh, TMUA, you need to sit, sit for like three hours, I think, three yeah, or two and a half. It's a, it's a quite long task. And it's quite different for uh, you to solve 40 questions mm. uh, at the same time and solve them one by one for yeah. the whole day. So it's completely different. Yeah. So in the last stage, you, try to, you should try to prepare yourself with that pressure and sometimes even like your uh, sometimes it, like it's even like physically demanding, you know, just sitting there for that long. Yeah. <laughs> At least for me, I find myself quite like I, I don't want to, I, I like to keep your attention concentrated. There, so difficult. Like, the attention quite... span, especially when everyone's scrolling on their phones, it's very difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess we can move on now to exam strategy. I don't know if you had any specific tips for exam strategy. So, for example, um, if you find a question tricky, would you just move on? Um, how would you time yourself? Uh, when you did exam practice, did you like do it in time conditions or did you do like one paper in like half the time or something like that? Do you have any specific tips for exam strategy? So yeah, I think for the strategy is very important. It's very, I think for, uh, I would say like 95% of people cannot solve the 40, 40 mm -hmm. questions. <laughs> so yeah. you have to like allocate your time. Yeah. And so I think from the nature of multiple choice questions, mm. uh, you, you can only got the mark if you got like it 100% correctly. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes for difficult questions, you can solve the like 95%, but yeah. without that 5%, it just meaningless. Mm. So I think the best strategy is just skip it. If you cannot solve them in, I think five minutes, the time saved, if you finish like all the questions you find like uh, doable, yeah. then you can use that uh, time, for example, it's like 15 minutes or 10 minutes to, I think instead of like trying to solve those impossible questions or you find extremely difficult questions, mm. try to, uh, just check your answers check your for ones, those. Yeah. yeah, yeah, check the other ones yeah. that you feel a bit unsure mm. or like, for example, it takes like, uh, like uh, three minutes for calculation and uh, you, you may make some mistakes uh, in that process. Yeah. Or you find that uh, you may ignore a detail uh, information for a question, then you just move back to check because got a question correctly uh for those that you feel yourself confident yeah it's better than like invest your time to solve those impossible questions that makes sense so just yeah. make sure you got those ones which you're a little mostly confident on yeah 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 yeah, yeah, than, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, got them correctly and yeah. I, I think this is the key to improve your score i, I mean everyone have different targets yeah so if you want to got like 20 uh, questions correctly then uh, probably like the difference is like 17 
18, mm. uh, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. So just three questions correctly can make a huge difference. Definitely, yeah. Perfect. Um, any other thoughts on exam strategy or is that mostly it? Mm, yeah, I, I guess another tip would, would be like try to uh, be confident and get used to the exam environment if, if possible. Yeah. I mean, for, for my, I, I don't know how the things like in other uh, exam boards or like in other location, but in my uh, exam room, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like? It's terrible. Yeah, the, the, they, they didn't offer you like pen and paper. What? Yeah, they didn't, I mean, pa like paper, like yeah. an, an A4 paper. That's uh, they, they, they offered me like a board and oh, uh, yeah, yeah. like a the white yeah, thing, yeah, pen yeah. and yeah, eraser. Yeah, so, so it's nice. very difficult to use that. Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, it's very difficult to use that. and. They only gave me like five papers. Really? Like, oh, so you had to so, like swap them out? Yeah, yeah, yeah so we had that. Probably you can ask for more, but mm. it takes some time and yeah. I didn't realize it. Yeah. So I, yeah, I, and I didn't really make, maximize the like, the like efficiency to use those space. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. so yeah, so yeah, so in the like last stage of the exam i tried to write it extremely small <laughs> and i guess yeah I, I i guess it will increase the chance to make some silly mistakes yeah but, that makes sense yeah, yeah. That's, nice. that's good yeah nice cool um i think that's everything for exam exam strategy then um and have we covered all the resources do you think that's mostly it any other advice that you have Mm, I think it's most mostly there, and yeah, another tip would be like not resources for questions, but yeah, definitely try to uh, ask for whether it's your friend or like your schoolmates, your uh, uh, the like your teacher or even sometimes your parents if, if possible. Yeah, I always try to ask other people's uh, like uh, like if you got some questions, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, just discuss with peers you you feel comfortable and uh, make sure that you really understand the question. It's not like, uh, you know, don't lie to yourself <laughs> to say like, I understand it, but yeah. actually not. Really makes so, sense. So yeah, T talk with others is always a like good strategy to make sure that you really understand it because other people might challenge you and yeah. you will you have to defend yourself by fully understand it that makes sense perfect yeah i think um you make a very good point there i think especially if you want to get a 9.0 you really need to understand stuff you can't lie to yourself one thing i would say well two things actually that i want to add firstly um it's increasing in usefulness but i think artificial intelligence like chat EPT, can, can be quite useful um i found it quite useful for two main things Firstly, for helping me answer any questions using like the logic. The numbers, it tends to mess up, but some of the logic is pretty good. So explaining things to you in a simple way. And the second thing is all the resources that have been mentioned in the video, I'll put it on a Notion page in my description. So click on that description. I'll continue updating it. If I meet students who also did really well and have their own advice, there are all the things which Yihang has suggested. I'm gonna put it all in one free Notion page. So check that in the description. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, amazing. Any other things that you want to say or are you happy with that? Mm, yeah, I think for, for artificial intelligence point, it's definitely useful. I mean, a lot of people are kind of scared to <laughs> overuse AI, but I think AI now, nowadays is like a tool and it's, it's necessary because you, yeah. if you don't use AI, it's like you yeah, don't use fine. computer, you don't use phones. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, for for math, uh, I think Gemini is like kind of good in Gemini, math compared with ChatGPT. Yeah, yeah. and if you have an edu email, then you can use them for free. Use yeah. Gemini Pro for free. Yeah, that's so really that's good. good. Nice. And yeah, you can try to discuss your solutions with AI to say <laughs> like uh, you made a mistake, but sometimes they cannot find the mistake. But yeah. Yeah, it, at least it, it, it's trying to help. Yeah, at least it tries to help. At least you can give it a shot. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for coming on, Yihang. This is such a unique, amazing opportunity to interview somebody who got a 9.0. It's so ridiculously impressive. Um, but I'm really, really grateful to have you on. Thank you so much for agreeing to take part. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below. Um, Yihang, am I okay to attach your LinkedIn, maybe? So people can message you if need be? Or... Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'll attach yeah. the LinkedIn. Um, and yeah, thank you very much. Uh, that's a wrap. Good luck with your exam. Bye guys.